Hey, what's up everyone? It's Phil Meyer. Final Fantasy XIV's Moonfire Fair is running now through August 26th. The Moonfire Fair is Final Fantasy XIV's summer celebration event. You'll need to be at least level 30 to take part in the event, and doing so will earn you a two-piece Moonfire Ranger outfit and an in-game achievement. Like usual, the video will be summarizing the questline story, which I really enjoyed. It made me chuckle a few times. So if you'd like to play through it for yourself first, feel free to use the time codes in the video's description to skip forward. To begin the event's questline, you'll need to find Mayaru in the center of Linsa Lominsa's Aff Castle. Mayaru will give you an overview and direct you to Costa del Sol, which will start the first quest called Allergic to Sunshine. Now since it's summer and we're going to be heading to the coast, be sure to change into your best beachwear. For any newer players, an easy way to reach Costa del Sol is to take the ferry just to the south of the Fisherman's Guild Ethernet Crystal. Once in the region, you'll need to head to the island in the northeast and find Hermega in the center. Hermega will tell you that a number of issues have come up with this year's festivities, so he came up with the idea of the Sunshine Savior to deal with the problems early. He hired a youth called Lionel to fill the role, but Lionel's spirits have taken a dive since he's arrived on the coast. Hermega asks for your help in giving Lionel guidance. You'll next need to head to the mainland near the Ethernet Crystal where you'll meet Lionel. You'll discover that Lionel is quite a bit on the timid side. When he's not in costume, his nerves get the better of him, and he could really use the guidance of an experienced adventurer like you to help him out. Lionel will change into costume and you'll meet him in the lower part of the beach. This will finish the first quest and give you an opportunity to start the second quest called I Am The Sunshine. Now that he's behind the mask, Lionel's attitude has taken a complete 180. You'll be tasked with relieving the current chaperone of the fair of his duties and taking over patrol of the island with Lionel. Head back to the island to give Boudethwa a break. This is where you'll help Lionel patrol the island and perform such duties as mistaking a certain romance-minded pirate for something more nefarious and reminding bodybuilding enthusiasts to stay hydrated in the heat. The dialogue choices you'll make during these scenes will slightly alter how things play out, but the end results will be the same. With these patrols being successful, you'll report your status back to Hermega in the center of the island. Lionel will open up and explain more about how he's lost his confidence. Thanks to an understanding ear from you and Hermega, Lionel decides to resume his patrol without his mask. Right after this choice is made, suddenly a giant shark monster thing will attack the festival goers. Lionel springs to action but the shark monster gets the better of him. Thanks to the rallying efforts of you and the festival goers, Lionel rises to the challenge and saves the day. The harrowing scene concludes with Lionel having regained his confidence, which will be sure to aid him in making a fine sunshine savior. You can now report back to Hermega to complete the second quest and receive your reward, which will be the Moonfire Ranger Glamour Set and the in-game achievement. Next to Hermega, you'll find the Events Vendor, which will be selling a collection of various consumable fireworks. The two-piece suit can and should be stored in an armoire, making it accessible as a glamour. Both the helmet and suit can be dyed independently a color of your choosing. If you've played through past Moonfire events, you might be familiar with the Eorzean Nimble Warriors course. This is back again, allowing you to test your skills and see if you can reach the top of the tower. You can start the course by taking a ride on the Water Geyser at the base, and you can speak to the fair adventurers along the bottom if you want to skip to the various parts of the course. Note that as far as I know, the only reward for reaching the top of the course is a good view of the festivities. You'll see some familiar faces along the way, and if you want to see how these relate to past Moonfire events, look for the links in this video's description. Towards the end of the obstacle course, you'll find a stage with colorful explosions that can serve as a great backdrop for screenshots or other creative content. Moonfire. Thanks everyone for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it.